guys, what's up? It's Tori here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting video for you. It's a video that I personally love to watch so much and it is a makeup declutter. So I'm going to take my makeup in sections and film it. My decluttering stuff that I don't use anymore, don't want, don't like, etc. So if you recognize this intro, I'm going to be using it for all of my intros. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below if you want to see more videos. Because at the end of the declutter, I am going to be doing a full makeup collection. So if you guys love decluttering just like me, stay tuned. And let's see what I get rid of. <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys. Welcome. So sorry if you hear background noise. My window's open because it's such a beautiful day. I just want to leave my window open. So right now I'm going to start with my primers. This is a little container I keep all my primers in. I have like these three acrylic containers that I usually keep my primers in, but or that I have all my makeup stored in. So this is my primer drawer. So let's go through this and see. I don't really know if there's any primers I'm going to get rid of because I love really all of them and they're all sample sizes. So the first one I have is this Becca, what is it, the Pri Backlight Priming Filter. Absolutely love this. I got this on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and it's an amazing, amazing primer. I absolutely love it. So I'm not going to get rid of that. This, I got my Ipsy bag. It is the No Pore no, no Pore Blum Primer. It hides pores and wrinkles. It's really nice. It's by this brand. I would definitely buy it. Uh, a full size of it because I really like the way that it made my skin look. Um, this is an Avance Flawless Effect Skin Care Mattifying Emulsion Pore Refiner Matte Primer. I actually really like this primer too. It's a beautiful primer and it kind of just feels really nice on the skin. I don't know if I'm out of it though. Uh, there's a little bit left. I don't know if it's going to be enough even worth keeping. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it, but, okay, I'm going to declutter it, but buy a full size. So, I'm going to declutter this for my collection. Next thing I have is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Sample. I absolutely love this primer. It kind of looks weird, like the bubbles on the inside. Definitely going to buy a full size of this. I think it's an amazing primer. If you want to look flawless, great primer. So, keeping that. My favorite primer, I think, that I have is the Too Faced Hangover RX. Definitely want to buy a full size of this. It's made with coconut water, so it really keeps your skin nice and, like, moisturized. And it's just an awesome primer. If you try to get a sample from this from Sephora, because it is so good. Um, this is a moisturizer by Air Repair. Keep it. Because it's little. These are all littles. Primetime Foundation Primer from Bare Minerals. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I honestly, like, I liked it when I first, I got this when I first started doing makeup. And that was three years ago. So, I don't think it's really, like, the way it should be. And I just think it's very, like, greasy feeling. Like, you can kind of, I don't know if you can really pick up on the grease, but it's really greasy feeling. And I'm just, like... I have better primers now. I tried this before when I didn't know what a good primer was, so definitely going to declutter that. This is just a per Pure Lease Daily Lip Nourisher I got from my Ipsy bag. Awesome. Love it. I'm like running out of it and I'm sad. I don't want to buy a full size because it's like 13 bucks and that's a lot of money. And then I have this Avene Creme. Let me see. Nutritive. It's like a thick cream. I don't really like it, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. And then this Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Lip Pencil in the Ozone. I honestly don't really like it. Like, I've used it, but I don't see a difference, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. And then this is just like a lip butter. So I'm getting rid of four items, and I'm keeping five. Product I want to buy full size of. Let me know if you guys have tried it. Is the Marc Jacob Perfecting Coconut Primer. It looks so good. So I'm thinking about buying it, but I don't know if it's worth it. So let me know in the comments down below if you have tried that. That's my primers. This is my little bin. I keep them all in. So go starting from the top. I recently just picked up this Makeup Forever uh, foundation in the shade Y335. And it's amazing. I used this for my prom makeup and it was absolutely stunning. I was going to do a makeup tutorial on my prom makeup because it was gorgeous. I did it in 20 minutes and it was like an amazing makeup. So 
absolutely love this. Definitely keeping. This is a Mary Kay Tinted Moisturizer. Honestly, I don't use tinted moisturizers, but I remember putting this on the other day and like liking it. So, I mean, it's nice for, it has SPF 20. The other thing is it's pretty old. I'm pretty sure it's, it has like all this gunk on it. Like you see this? Because my mom gave this to me, and last time she ordered from Mary Kay was probably like years ago. So I'm not going to put this on my skin. So I'm going to declutter that. This is just a sample of the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Same shade. I'll keep it because, you know, I want to use this up first before I use the other one. Pure Dream Pure BB Cream. This is such a dark... Do you see how dark this is? I don't know why I thought it was... Oh my god. Ew! Do you see that? That oil? Oh my god. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to shake it. Do you hear it? It sounds like liquid. I think it's broken down, honestly. Oh, maybe not. There's like a lot of product in there, but... Oh, it's just super greasy. Like, no, that's disgusting. I think I've had this for three years, and if I want another one, I'll buy another one. But honestly, I'm not using BB creams that much anymore. Um, it's a concealer. My favorite stick foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me. Definitely way too light for me right now. Like, like look at that. This is like, right now I'm, I'm getting tan because softball just ended, so I was out there. This is way too light for me. So I definitely need to get another shade of this, but I'm going to keep this because this is my winter shade, so. This one's a little darker. This is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Foundation Stick. It's a really good foundation stick. Um, definitely recommend it if you're on a budget. It's really good. I don't know, there's not much to say about this Instant Age Rewind. It's such a light color. I don't even know if it matches. Oh, I remember I used it this past winter it's not terrible but like there's no product in there I don't even know where it all went because I know I definitely did not use that much product I'm going to declutter this it's old the sponge looks disgusting <laughs> this I got a sample from Sephora it's the NARS radiant to moisturizer I'll try it I mean it's NARS I'm not going to not try it I guess Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. Sometimes if I put too much, like I don't know if it's the amount I put on, because I put on a normal amount and it looked super cakey and gross on me. And I put on a little, like less, and it looked really nice on my skin. So I don't know if it's me. It might just be me. I might just be putting it on. I have it on creamy beige. Definitely need to try it out more, but I don't know. I remember in the beginning I wanted to throw it away. I hated it so much how it looked. Maybe it's because I put powder on top. Because I don't think you have to set this. So we'll see. Um, my favorite foundation. Don't even talk. Ready Cover Girl Ready Set Gorgeous in 210. I have three shades of this. I absolutely love this foundation. It is amazing. If you want to try a drugstore foundation, it's super cheap. It's been on sale everywhere I check. It's been like Target, Walmart, uh, Harman's Beauty Store. I found them all on sale. So... Go pick you up some. It's really good. And last, I have this e.l.f. BB cream, which has SPF 20. I would keep this, right? But I'm pretty sure this is what was breaking me out. And also, like, I don't know. It's a really nice coverage foundation, but I think it was breaking. I'm pretty sure it's breaking me out. So I'm just going to get rid of that. No, every time I put it on, my skin broke out. So I'm assuming this is the common denominator. So that is going goodbye. So I got rid of three foundations slash, oh no, four foundations slash BB creams, and I'm keeping six. That's not too bad. I'm doing pretty well with fluttering. Next up, I have concealers. And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of any concealers and powders. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any, but we can go through them. NYC, this is the only translucent powder I have, and I absolutely love it. It's really nice. Kathleen Lights is the one who recommended this for me. So I got it because of her recommendation. She's right that the packaging's super, like, it's just super messy, but it's, I'm definitely going to keep it. And this, I have a True Match, L'Oreal True Match powder. 
This is my summer shade, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here's my summer shade, so I'm going to keep it. It's an M5. Um, it's an okay powder. I don't know. I always set my face, and I don't know if you're always supposed to set your face, but I do. And it's all right. Favorite powder, the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is my second one. Definitely going to buy a new one soon. I hate when... Anybody else... Does that happen to anybody else when they hit pan? They just, like, hate it. It's like, oh my gosh, I, I can't. Whenever I hit pan on something, I'm just... I have to get a new one. This is not acceptable. But yeah, awesome powder, and mine's in the color Buff Beige. It's awesome. Cheap, great, reliable. I have this Dream Wonder Powder by Maybelline. I don't even know if they still sell this. It's in the shade Classic Beige. It's a really nice, oh my goodness. Do you see that? Huh, I don't even remember hitting pan on this, to be honest. As I say, it's a really super, you can see that, how finely milled it is. It's a super soft powder. My skin looks cool. It's a really soft, finely milled powder, and it's hit pan, which stinks. If they do sell this, let me know down below. So, if they do sell this, just let me know, because it's a, it's a pretty nice powder. I do like it. And then my last powder I got in my Ipsy bag. This is a Naked Cosmetics HD Banana Powder, which I love to set under my eyes. It's really nice. It's not too banana-y, like not too yellow. I don't know why I said banana-y. It's like the perfect banana powder, so that's awesome. Keeping that. Oh, the only thing I don't know I possibly might get rid of is this Winky Lux Diamond Powder. I don't know if... It says it's in the shade medium. I don't know if it's a highlighter or a base powder because it kind of has a shimmer. Can you see? It was like definite shimmer in there so I don't know if this is a highlighter I just assumed it was like a face powder like one of the glowy hourglass type but I don't really know I I've never used it though so I'm just gonna get rid of it because I've never used it we're on to concealers this I have this city color photo chic dark corrector spot it's in the shade it's in the dark spot corrector it's kind of an orangey shade the lights kind of washing it out I don't really like it. It's kind of thick. And I know most color correctors are thick. I mean, it does give you coverage, but you won't see me color correcting often. I don't really need it. I just put concealer on and foundation. I'm good to go. So I'm going to get rid of that. Next, my Naked Skin by Urban Decay. Definitely one of... It's a nice um, concealer. Mine's in the shade light neutral is the shade and it's nice I really love the applicator just how it's a flat paddle applicator I just really like that about it so it's a good concealer it's expensive it's my only like it's the only high-end concealer that I actually paid for so I'm definitely keeping that second favorite my I think it's my number one favorite concealer is the Maybelline fit me concealer mine's in the shade light it's awesome full coverage beautiful under the eyes love it um also love my Maybelline master conceal for any face pimples or red spots or anything this is my favorite to conceal with this is in the shade light medium gorgeous I also use it under the eyes and it's just as pretty this this is the amazing cosmetics amazing concealer I got this as an ipsy point perk in the shade medium golden it's very yellow toned and like I just don't like it it feels oily on my skin and it's like full coverage, yeah, but it feels heavy. And that's not really what I go for when I do my makeup. So I'm definitely going to get rid of that. It stinks because it's an expensive concealer and I got it for free. But it's in the end, it's not worth it if I don't like how it feels. I have two under eye concealers. I have the Bye Bye Under Eye and the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. A lot of people don't like the illumination, but I actually really like it. I feel like it feels lighter and it feels lighter under my eyes and... The color is actually lighter under my eyes compared to this one. So I'm going to get rid of the regular Bye Bye Under Eye and keep the illumination. The next shade I have is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. The shade I got is way too orange for, or like yellow tone for me. But I do love it, so I'm going to keep it until I buy a new one. And my Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. There's no coverage. It's really nice for highlighting, but I'm like out, so I'm just going to get rid of that. 